In this lesson, you can learn to program animated peekaboo boxes that appear according to the user's scroll position on the page. We'll be targeting the bottom of the page in this lesson, but any scroll position can trigger a peekaboo box to appear and disappear from the page. We'll be using JavaScript to trigger the CSS3 transition to make this possible. Before we begin the lesson, let's take a look at the finished product. So when the user scrolls down to the bottom of your page, a peekaboo box appears from anywhere that you want it to appear and from any direction and when the user starts to scroll back up it goes away again in an animated fashion so it peekaboos in an animated fashion and it goes away animated as well okay and you can use the scroll bar too same deal boom boom peekaboo peekaboo okay let's start with the bare bones of an html5 web document you can name yours whatever you want now I'm going to pop this code into the body element and let me explain it real quick. We have an H2 element that holds a heading on the page. Actually if I render this to my favorite browser you can see what I have. I have a heading up top and then I have a paragraph here and I set the paragraph to be really high that way I have a lot of vertical scroll on my page. You see on the bottom it says peekaboo down here because I'm not hiding this element yet using CSS. But in just a moment, I'm going to take this element and I'm going to hide it off to the side of the page somewhere where I want. And then the logic is when the user hits the bottom of the content on my page, when the scroll bar hits the bottom, we're going to make that peekaboo box come into view in an animated way. And we're only going to use one line of CSS3 to make the animation possible. Okay, so let's take a look at the content on the page. Here's my div, peekaboo. And it has an ID of bottom window one. Actually, na let's name that peekaboo, just so it's more in line with the lesson. Okay, so we have a heading, a simple paragraph that is set to height 1600 pixels to give me a lot of vertical scroll. That's to simulate that I have a lot of data on my page, enough to make vertical scroll. Then under that paragraph, the last element on the page is my peekaboo box. And that's all the HTML we're gonna have in the example. Now let's apply our CSS so we can open up a style element in our head element, type text CSS, go down a couple of lines and put in the closing tag for that style element. Now let's target this peekaboo box in the CSS. So we make a rule for the div with an ID of peekaboo and we apply all of these properties to it. And the important ones you have to know is the position property is fixed. That way we can set its bottom position to zero and that was how I got it to the bottom of the page and then the right position I set to minus 352 pixels and my box is 300 pixels wide and I set it to right 352 pixels so it's off outside of the window uh, view pane so it's outside of the view pane sitting off two pixels off to the side on the right of the user's window I gave it a background color of a light blue. I gave the box 25 padding. That's why my width, you see my width is 300, but I have the box sitting at 352. The box width with the padding comes to 350. So that's why you see me sitting at the box at 352. And I put it at 352 in case you put any borders on your box. You don't want to have a little sliver of a border showing. So just make sure you move it to the right enough where the user can't see it initially. Then its height is 200 pixels and the font size in it is really big because I wanted to put the word peekable in it really large for you just for this example. But you can put whatever you want and style that peekaboo box any way you like. Okay now let's test in our favorite browser and make sure that the element is off of the page hiding to the right. So let's scroll to the bottom and I don't see it over here anymore that means it's doing its job off to the right over here. It would be living off in this space but we can't see it. Now let's apply the JavaScript to make the magic happen and I'm going to use a function that I used in an earlier tutorial that we made a few months back for uh, scroll to the bottom add more dynamic content tutorial. It was a tutorial where I showed how like you know on Facebook and Google Plus where you can scroll or I'm not sure if Google Plus does it but Facebook does it when you scroll to the bottom of the page more dynamic content loads in. So Facebook doesn't initially load a bunch of content to the page. They'll only load it if you scroll to the bottom. That was what that tutorial was all about. 
and I'm going to show you that tutorial to show you how I'm getting this function. First, let me put the function into the head tag under the CSS. You can see here I have the function code set into place, and I named the function Y Scroll Handler. Now, Y, I named it Y Scroll because Y is the vertical plane, X is the horizontal plane. So Y is the vertical plane, so Y scroll is the plane that I was targeting. Now if you were to go to developphp.com in the JavaScript video tutorial section, if you scroll down, or you can just use my search bar up here, but you want to search for JavaScript scroll tutorial load dynamic content into page when user reaches bottom. And this is the one where I was talking about that whole concept of loading more content to the page when the user reaches the bottom. We're going to use this sort of code. See the Y handler function right here? I used that similar sort of code to create this peekaboo box effect. So if any of you are wondering, you know, what this function is all about, I'm not going to explain it again and again and again. You can go watch that other tutorial if you want to understand in depth how this function Y scroll handler works. But I will tell you that it works with a window.onscroll event, and that means when the user scrolls the window, this Y scroll handler function is going to fire off every time they scroll the window, even just a little bit. Oh, we don't need wrap either, because I realized that we could just target the document.body offset height. Instead of requiring a wrap around all of your content, you can just use the body element as your offset height setting here. So let's take a look before I discuss this little bit of code right here inside of that Y scroll handler. Let's take a look at what it renders in the browser and make sure it works. We scroll to the bottom and there's the peekaboo box. Very nice. Scroll back up and it goes away. Okay so I'll quickly try to explain the code and it's very similar to the code that we had in the other tutorial that I just referred to a second ago. The first thing we do in this function is we create an object reference for the peekaboo element on the page, which is this peekaboo box. We say document that get element by ID peekaboo. So now we have an object reference for that element. Then we say if window dot page y offset plus window dot inner height is greater than or equal to document dot body offset height, then you want to run code that makes the box come into the user's view so they can see it in an animated fashion and we use the transition property to do that and just a few tutorials ago about three tutorials ago I think it was I talked in depth about how to trigger CSS3 transitions using JavaScript the way that I'm doing it here so I'm not going to go in depth about that again either but just know that when this if conditions logic is met and it returns true then this code is going to run to bring the box into view. And basically, this if conditions logic is set up to sense when the user scrolls to the bottom of the page. So if you don't understand all these properties and the values that they might give you, just understand that it's there to sense when the user hits the bottom of the page, when they scroll to the bottom. When they do, you want to bring that magic box into view. Else, when they're scrolling and they're not hitting the bottom, maybe they're scrolling back up, you want to animate that box back out of view. So it's that simple. When the user hits the bottom, animate the box into view, else animate the box out of view. And that's all there is to it. Now let's test it on all the browsers. So I've been checking it in Chrome. So we know it works in Chrome already. Peekaboo, peekaboo. Now let's go to File, Preview in Firefox. Peekaboo, peekaboo, preview in Internet Explorer, scroll to the bottom, peekaboo, peekaboo. Now, let's preview this in Safari. Now, let's go to the bottom and see what happens. Oh no, it just snaps into view in a very non-animated sort of way. The users still see it when they get to the bottom, but it's not very pretty. So what you can do in older browsers is use the prefixes. And to do that in JavaScript, it's a little bit different than doing it in CSS. Usually in CSS, you'll see something like this. That's the WebKit prefix. But in order to do that in JavaScript right here, and Safari uses the WebKit prefix. So in order to do that in JavaScript right here, you just type in WebKit 
all lowercase and then give your property your CSS property a capital just the first letter so you can see I have WebKit transition I can take that copy it put it right here press control s to save my file then go to file preview in Safari scroll to the bottom and we have animated peekaboo just like we want now so if you want this to work in older browsers you can target the prefixes for like MS for a really old Internet Explorer you can put MS right there I think but most of the browsers as you guys noticed are using the straight up transition property but if you have to add multiple you just add this line last so you take this line make sure it's last put the others above it where you're going to put WebKit transition right there and then have this one under it now it'll work in Chrome when I go to the bottom get a peekaboo and Safari okay but this standardized property transition in JavaScript can be called in uh, all modern browsers Internet Explorer Firefox Chrome and maybe my Safari is just an older outdated version of stay off of drugs okay hope you've enjoyed this lesson on creating peekaboo boxes using JavaScript and CSS if you don't like this video and share it with your friends I'm gonna kick your ass <laughs>